Bonnie Muirhead with BonnieAppetit.com and today I'm going to show you how to make zucchini bread. So this is a great way to get rid of unwanted zucchini. You know when the summer season comes, we all have zucchini coming out of our ears. So this is a great way to save it because this bread freezes really well and it's always an appreciated gift if you want to give it to a neighbor. So I'm just going to show you, I already have some grated. Just grate it on a normal cheese grater. If you have a Cuisinart or a food processor, you can grate it using that as well with one of their attachments. And this is also great to use for the large zucchinis that might be a little bit more woody and not as tender as the smaller ones. Okay, now zucchini has a lot of water content. So what we need to do before we bake it is put it in a strainer like I've done here and you really just want to dry it out because it'll make your bread soggy. So this is looking really good and dry. All right, so our ingredients for this, our dry ingredients, we have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and a pinch of nutmeg. And I've sifted this all together so it's right ready to go. And then our wet ingredients, we have a half a cup of butter, an eighth of a cup of canola oil, and one cup of tightly packed light brown sugar. So I'm just mixing this all together. I'm gonna to start with my wet ingredients. So you just really wanna get that sugar mixed up with the butter and the oil. We don't have to cream it because it's a pretty wet batter, so we don't need to cream our butter and sugar like we do with, the, with cookies and cakes. It's gonna be pretty dense as well, so the fluffiness isn't gonna matter. So I'm gonna add one egg to that. Just like so. And just whisk that right in. You don't want to see any remnants of yellow yolk. You want it to be completely incorporated. And then we're going to add a quarter of a cup of milk. Right in there. And just whisk carefully once you add your milk. Because it will kind of slosh around. Okay, and now we're gonna add our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. Just like so. Oh, and there's also one teaspoon of salt in there if you like salt. If you're trying to watch your sodium, you can go without. So I'm just gonna whisk this together. This is gonna make our batter. This is looking good. I'm just gonna dump all this in here. I probably don't need all of this. It's about one, one to two cups, depending on how much you like zucchini bread, if you like really zucchini zucchini bread, add more. If uh, you're not so keen on the idea, add a little less. So now I'm gonna carefully mix these together. I'm gonna switch to my wooden spoon. Just fold this in. I'm just gonna carefully fold this in because it will kind of slosh around. But you just wanna really incorporate it in with the rest of the batter. Okay, and lastly, I'm just gonna fold in just a little bit of lemon zest to give it that nice little citrusy tang that I like so much. Let's give it a good couple more stirs. And this recipe is enough for one loaf pan, or you can make muffins as well. So now we're gonna take our pan, give it a good spray. Really important so it doesn't stick. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in. Now because there's baking powder and baking soda in this, it will rise. So you don't want it to be too full in your loaf pan, otherwise you can have zucchini bread all over the place. All right, so we're just gonna pop this in the oven at 350 for about an hour. Okay, we're gonna put it at the center rack. And I always put my loaf pan on a cookie sheet just because it's easier to maneuver in and out of the oven. Okay, it's been a little bit over an hour, but it is all done. And once again, I'm Bonnie Muirhead, and I've just shown you how to make zucchini bread.